Hey guys, it's Celia and I'm back with another video. So today I'll be showing you pretty much my go-to hairstyle, which many of you already know is the braid out. Um, this is just my favorite style to do. It's quick, easy, um, elongated, fluffy, puffy, just everything I love. So I was going for more of a poofier, um, frizzier look, but still pretty defined. So just keep watching if you're interested. And I also will be reviewing some more products from the brand Control Hair Care, which you guys have seen in one of my previous videos. So just stay tuned. My hair's already been washed and conditioned. It's a bit stretched because I did fall asleep with my hair in a little ponytail. But anyways, I am starting off by parting my hair from ear to ear, and I will have a total of 12 braids in my head. Um, you do not need a ton of braids to get a nice braid out, you guys. And plus, who wants to put in a ton of braids and be doing their hair all night long? So this is my first section of hair. You could tell it definitely needs to be moisturized, so that is why I always Always start off with my spray bottle of water and water is just key to getting a nice braid out or any hairstyle in general because it helps to um, moisturize your hair water is a moisturizer and then also it just helps with the detangling process which you guys see me doing now using my tangle teaser I start from ends to roots just to get the tangles out easier and avoid like breakage and things like that and um, I get access a lot you can get tangle teasers anywhere Sally's um, Ulta I know you can get them anywhere online this is like the best detangling brush so make sure your hair is all detangled before you add product Now I'm taking the Twist and Shout Styler from Control Hair Care, and this product is supposed to define twist and braid outs, and it's also made with rose water, mango butter, and flaxseed oil, and all those products together, or ingredients together, are supposed to soften, hydrate, and soothe your curls. So it smells so good, it smells like flowers, and the consistency is pretty lightweight, but very creamy, and it honestly just reminds, reminded me of like a nice lightweight butter. So um, yeah, I'm going to take just a little bit to start with just since this is my first time using the product and apply it to my hair and um, instantly applying it, I wasn't really feeling anything. So that is why I went in and put a lot more of the product on. And once I did, that's when I really started to feel the benefits of the product. Um, it made my hair very soft, silky, smooth. You'll see it also gave me some nice curl definition. So for this product, with my hair specifically, I definitely do need to use a bit more. But for me, that wasn't really a problem because um, more recently, I've been more into using a ton of product rather than like, you know, a little dime size. So. So I'm just going to detangle my hair with my brush one last time to make sure it's nice and smooth and then I'm going to begin braiding and I'm sure you guys all know how to braid. So um, once I do reach the ends, I'm going to either two strand twist it or just twirl it around my finger for that nice curl instead of you know that crinkly type of look. Um, and then I'm just going to repeat those steps all over my hair. So making sure to add the Twist and Shout Styler, a generous amount to my hair um, for, you know, moisture and definition and silkiness, all that good stuff. And then I'm going to make sure it's nice and detangled and then braid all the way down um, and repeat.
So it's the next morning and my braids are completely dry, but before I begin, you know, taking down my hair and stuff, I'm using some of Control Hair Care's Hawaiian Kukui Nut Oil, I hope I'm saying that right, and um, applying that to my hair just so that it can give me moisture and shine, which is what it's supposed to do, and this smells so good you guys even if you don't use it for you know separating and stuff just putting it into your hair for a nice smell I feel like you could do as well because my hair was smelling so good um so yeah I'm just applying that to my hair and then I'm going to start taking down my braids and you will see the definition I got Now this is the definition I got all around my head and I was just so in love with it you guys. Um, I am now going to begin the separating and fluffing process um, because you guys know I like big hair and that is the whole point of this video. So um, I'm taking some more of that Kukui Nut Oil to my hands just because you don't want to separate with dry hands. It could cause a lot of frizz and I don't want too much frizz but um, then I'm going to begin separating my hair and everyone separates their hair differently I like to separate in small pieces making sure to twirl the ends around my fingers and if you want a more in-depth video on how I separate and fluff definitely check the description box because I will leak link that video down below but yeah I'm just going to separate my hair all around and then I'm going to begin fluffing Now I am going to fluff my hair and I like to take my wide tooth comb and just put it all the way through until I get really close to my ends and then I pull the comb out. You do not want to comb all the way through your hair because you will just make a poof ball which is not what we want um, and I did fluff my hair a bit more than I typically do because like I said I was trying to go for a more bigger poofier type of look rather than the super sleek and defined look I always go for I really miss wearing my hair nice and big like I used used to do so yeah I'm just going to pick and pick and pick for my life I think I was picking for like 10 15 minutes you guys like literally So this is what my hair looks like once it's finished and I was so in love with this braid out you guys like it was just so voluminous, so fluffy and bouncy, soft, just everything. So I really enjoyed that twist and shout styler from Control Hair Care and if you're interested in trying out their products I do have a discount code that I'll put in the description box but like I said this is pretty much my go-to hairstyle and always has been and I just think it's perfect it's simple it's easy it could be worn for all occasions so my braid outs typically last me one entire week and I'm currently on day four so if you want a little tip and trick on how to get your hair to last a long time longer than a couple days I will put that video down below hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did like comment share and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next one